Welcome to California CEO and our ongoing business spotlight series. I'm Jeff Allen. It's nice to have you in and it's nice to be back in Murrieta once again. And today we're talking about the Murrieta Innovation Center, what it is and why it's starting to get a lot of attention, not only in Southern California, but really statewide and across the country as well. And to do that, I'm joined by Mr. Jay Goth. He is CEO of InsoCal Connect. And also too, Jay, you're really kind of the head guy here at the Innovation Center. Thanks so much for taking time out. Well, thanks, Jeff. And thanks for coming to visit. Murrieta has got a long-range vision of what they want to be in the future, and this plays a key role in that. Let's talk a little bit then really about what the Innovation Center is, because it really is kind of a new venture here in town, but it's starting to get a lot of attention. What does it do? What do you do, and how, how does it work? Well, Jeff, you're probably aware of incubators, you know, business incubators. They've been around for quite a while. So what we've done is we've been able to combine a traditional business incubator model with a number of other things that you'll see as we walk around that incorporate a whole variety of resources, opportunities. We even reach out to international businesses through this incubator here in Marietta. Is there a focus that the Murrieta Innovation Center has, one particular industry perhaps or industries that you really try to key in on and try to welcome and embrace in coming here to start those businesses? As a matter of fact, there is. Uh, Murrieta is really geared towards healthcare. They love healthcare technologies, new developments, medical devices. So really that's the focus of this center. Although we do a lot of workshops for businesses of all types, and Marietta is trying to encourage all kinds of different businesses to, to locate here. They have a long-range vision. Let's go ahead and let's take some time now to kind of walk through. You're going to take me on a bit of a guided tour here. And the nice thing about uh, today while we're shooting is that it's fairly quiet and we've got some room to maneuver, but this is otherwise a fairly busy place. So let's go ahead and let's kind of start in our current location. Tell us a little bit about where we're at. Sure. Like I said, this is the old city hall. So originally, we had this entire area set up for the planning department. People would bring in their plans, get them checked. And so when we decided to redevelop this, re-engineer this building, we wanted to create an innovation and business hub where any business could come in and during the regular hours of 8 to 5, sit down, open their laptop, answer emails, grab a cup of coffee, kind of like a coffee shop would be but without the coffee shop ambiance, more of a business atmosphere. So any business in the Murrieta, Temecula, Greater Riverside area can come in here and get business done within this public area. I call it the hangout. This is where people can just come in and hang out. We have a receptionist that takes uh, people coming in, and if they need to meet with the companies that we're incubating, they have to go through one of two secured doors and only resource providers or tenants can get into the inner sanctum, and that's where we'll be going next. So we're in the inner sanctum, as Jay calls it. Do you have another uh, name for this space, Jay? Yeah, this is actually our resource center and presentation area. So as you can see, we have a presentation area right here where we can conduct workshops, people can give presentations about their company. It's also an open workspace environment. If you notice, along the wall there, we have a number of resource providers. None of our tenants actually get an office. They work in an open, collaborative area. We have my organization in SoCal Connect as a resource provider. We're here for them constantly. We have SCORE, the Service Corps of Retired Executives, which is an SBA program designed to provide free mentorship for early stage and small businesses. We have TriTech, a small business development center that is geared more towards high-level strategy and funding opportunities for startups, which is very important, as you know. Then we have a couple of offices here that are floating offices, and we have attorneys, accountants, HR professionals, all kinds of different people come in, and they post regular office hours that our companies can come in and get free advice on things that will really impact their business going forward. So that's this area. This is our presentation slash resource room. Well, Jay's brought me to the Yes Place, and that's where we're standing right now. And Jay, 
this room is really important because it, it really helps to uh, work with young people. We hear so much today about how important education is, and it seems to be even more important today than ever. Tell us how the Innovation uh, Center gets involved with the youth in the area and the role that it plays with helping kids through their educational process, particularly those interested in starting a business someday. Sure. Well, the Yes Place is actually run by another nonprofit called YesPlace.org. It's run by Dennis Nurmela, who's a local uh, professor, author, and speaker. And he saw a real chance to change people's lives, actually change the tra trajectory of people's lives by looking at disadvantaged and kids that, that may have street smarts but don't have the college education to proceed. And he thought entrepreneurship was a great way for that to go. So what he did is develop Yes Place as a place where we could teach science, technology, engineering, and math skills in an entrepreneurial setting to some of these youth and help give them a direction by providing them with a place where they can learn, an interactive area where they could actually rub shoulders with entrepreneurs, and really opening their eyes to the opportunity in entrepreneurship. I think the Yes Place has a way to really reach into the heart and soul of some of these kids. Well, we've arrived at the TV studio, and I did say TV studio, Jay. This is really kind of a, a nice, uh, unexpected pleasure. I didn't expect to see something like this, but tell us about this room and why the studio and how it came about and who runs it. Well, this is another uh, production of The Yes Place. The key, I think, for entrepreneurs these days is video is the new marketing medium, and I don't have to tell you that. The whole key is you need to get your messages out there, but they need to be short and they need to be quick. So what we can do is our companies can come in here. We have certain set blocks of time set aside for them where they have access to not only the production equipment, but to the technicians who can produce it. And they can produce very high quality professional uh, spots, just 30 to 60 second spots that say, hey, here's an update on what we're doing. Here's a new feature on our product. Here's an interview with one of our co-founders. They can make it any length they want, but you know short really sells in social media. The whole idea is we're developing a lot of great companies here. Let's get the message out to the world. Well, Jay's brought me to a really special room, and I know that this is one that you're particularly excited about. Tell us all about it, Jay. Well, Jeff, this is the electronics lab. It's actually an electronics and robotics lab that is run by a group of local inventors. So these people, the Valley Innovators, have really had this concept of if we had a place where we could meet, we could start building some really cool stuff. Here, what our inventors can do is they can design great things. We have access to CAD software so that they can design, and we have access to 3D printing so that they can print small products. Uh, if they want to create something bigger, then they can go to creator space. But the whole idea behind this is we can give the inventors group a place to be, and then they can mentor our innovators and our young entrepreneurs on how to do this cool stuff that, you know, frankly is way above me. They're doing robotics classes, they're doing training on electronics assembly, they're doing stuff about sensors, photonics. The core focus, I think, of this group is the Internet of Things, which is just blowing up. And the, the aspects of the Internet of Things as it translates to medical devices and healthcare technology is huge. So it all kind of fits together. Welcome to the real world. And that is exactly where we are. We are in the real world. Finally, Jay, I didn't think that we would get here, but here it is. Tell us what the real world is all about. We'd have no clue what the real world is all about, but you do. Well, I think I do. Uh, this is the old city council chambers for Marietta. So what we did is we worked with Loma Linda University Medical Center to actually situate their own innovation and research center within our facility. So what they're gonna do is Googleize this place. They're gonna come in, they're gonna make it look really cool. It'll be a place where doctors, engineers, technicians can come get out of the university and hospital setting and think about the medical challenges that they see on a daily basis. Then they can interact with our innovators, our inventors, our young entrepreneurs. And this can open up whole new areas of opportunity for our innovation centers. We're standing now in what looks like a conference room. There's a lot of uh, smaller offices around here. Jay, this looks like this could be kind of a busy place. Tell us where we're at. Jeff, this is our smaller conference area. So we have this set up so that we can do smaller, more intimate meetings. 
So one of the entrepreneurs in our local area who's uh, kind of a local legend, his name is Steve Espinoza, has already started and sold four companies at the age of 27. Very successful entrepreneur. He wants to teach other entrepreneurs the secrets to his success. So this is kind of his area. I call it the grow area where he actually shows people how to build and sell apps, how to start a company. This is kind of his grow area, but at the same time, it's open to all of our entrepreneurs to use his workspace. You've seen workspaces scattered throughout the entire facility. People aren't tied to any one place. They can work wherever they want. One of the key aspects, if you look back there, you see one of our uh, offices, and that houses our International Business Resource Center. This is incredibly important because we want our entrepreneurs to not only think of Murrieta, California, the United States, we want to think of them to think about global markets from the beginning. So we've partnered up with people like uh, the, the Commerce Department, Exim Bank, uh, a number of local individuals who have ties to Korea, Japan, Brazil, Middle East, Europe, and what we want to do is foster collaboration between all these areas. So we're actually talking to Finland and Chile and a couple other countries about doing some exchange programs where some of our incubator companies can actually go there for a couple of weeks and, and learn the culture of another country. And at the same time, those companies in those other countries can come and find out what the U.S. is all about and come visit the SoCal lifestyle. Well, Jay, you've got a building. You've got a great facility here we've been touring today, but how do you fund it? Good question. The city of Murrieta has been great as far as foresight, vision, leading the charge. They provided the building. They've done some of the tenant improvements, but they expect us to be able to fund this through the business community. Really, it's, it's a private-public partnership. The public part is the building, and they're the program manager. But as a business community, we need to support it. So we have a couple of ways we do that. The big money comes in through naming rights. We provide naming rights to different rooms. So this presentation room, for example, could be the Home Depot presentation room or something like that. For smaller businesses, they can support us through a sprocket wall we're building in the front public hangout. So for $500, they get a black sprocket. For $250, they get a blue one, and for $100, they get a yellow one. So everyone in the business community can really be a part of making this happen. So if I am a budding business owner, entrepreneur, and I'd like to take advantage of the resources available here through Innovation Center, how can I do that? I'm glad you asked. Well, we have a website, innovatemurrieta.org. So that's innovatemurrieta.org, very simple. And we have different places on the website where you can find a phone number or you can actually fill out an application to become a tenant company. Or you can just contact us. We have a very simple chat mechanism on there where you can just fill in your information and we just get back to you. So there are all kinds of ways to find out more about the Innovation Center. And that's going to wrap it up for another edition of California CEO Business Spotlight. Once again, our thanks to Jay Goth at the Innovation Center here in Murrieta. To see this show again or any of the other stories on California CEO, all you need to do is click on over to CaliforniaCEO.net. My name is Jeff Allen. Thanks so much once again for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon.